typical uh, pleasant and and easy strumming song from Neil Young. This is, of course, Sugar Mountain, a song that he recorded uh, back in his early days, written uh, written when he was still just a, a teenager, about, of course, a place that he couldn't hang out at anymore once he turned 20. And um, there's some pretty cool places you can you can hear this song, by the way. If you happen to have this, I'm happy you all came down. It is a, a, a treat, but uh, most of those songs are available on, I've, I've heard many of them here at YouTube um, from various, various places. So uh, anyway, I uh, have a short lesson together on this at, at Totally Guitars. It's part of the Target program. And what we do in the lesson is work on just mo the important thing in this is hitting bass notes and getting accurate with them. So we talk about some of the techniques that you need to get clean bass notes and have them not sound like this. Kind of not crisp enough. That's the sound we're looking for. A little soft, bluegrassy kind of picking. So it's important in that to angle the pick a certain way and make sure that you angle it up, generally when you're hitting the notes as downs, and that you get uh, that you come to rest on the next string using the string in this case I'm using the fifth string to stop the pick so that I hit just the sixth string and don't get this kind of sound where I've got too many notes sounding so anyway in the lesson we go through the chord progression and you, um, the beginning is very easy the course opens up with a C chord slid up to the third fret making it a kind of exotic member of the D family but uh, we have a little bit of a theory breakdown of that too where we talk about it as well so, but if you'd like to see the lesson on this, it's at it's uh, at Totally Guitars. Now, this song is one of his easiest, so you probably can already play it. You really just need a G chord and an F chord. There's a few different ways you can play them, and a D minor seven chord played at the with a two string bar at the first fret and your second finger on the third string at the second fret, playing the A there. So it's really a three chord song, G, F, and D minor seven, along with the little intro that is our C shape moved up to D and then slid back to C. So, if you're kind of familiar with all this kind of stuff already, that's probably enough info for you to be able to figure it out. But uh, if you'd like to see it, it's up at Totally Guitars now. We also have a lot of songs that are um, in our free section, and many of those, actually all of those, are here at our TG Free Lessons channel as well. So if you'd like to check that out, I encourage you to do to uh, kind of get a feel for the way the lessons work at Totally Guitars. But just wanted to let you know that we are expanding the Neil Young Library right now with Sugar Mountain.